three weeks later, I'm back on the trail. I'm gonna head up to Moose Mountain and log some 18 miles. things. The trail continues to be muddy and now the mosquitoes and the black flies are out and apparently it's black fly season from mid-May to at least mid-June and I thought when they were talking about a black fly they meant horse horse flies but no they actually mean these teeny little black flies they're bigger than a gnat and their bites are a little bit itchier than a mosquito bite repellent works but the bugs are still flying around my face so the last time I was on the AT was Mother's Day weekend that's the weekend that the tragic attack on the hikers occurred down in Virginia and somebody asked me how I felt about it um, I'm going up a really steep hill I've been off the trail just coincidentally because two weeks ago I moved into the QSP and just hiked around there and last week I went home to see my family in Pennsylvania and that incident will not be the reason that I quit hiking on this trail or any trail because the probability of something like that happening it's less than the 
is less than the probability of me getting hit by lightning. This trail is safer than the highway, the freeway, it's safer than the city. That was a freak event. And I think somebody did some research at the trek, I think, and discovered that there have only been like 10 recorded murders since like 1970, the early 1970s. So yeah, something like that will not stop me from hiking. The mosquitoes and the ticks and the black flies <laughs> might stop me, but people won't stop me. That being said, my heart is secure in God my Father. I live in the unshakable kingdom of God. This is not my home. I am a sojourner. I am just passing through. My heart and my prayers go out to every family that was involved in that tragic event. My prayers are for Stronghold's family for peace and for the ability to forgive the man who committed the crime because he's just not right. And the forgiveness isn't to let him off the hook because I also pray for him that he is persecuted prosecuted to the full extent of the law and spends the rest of his life in jail or whatever sentence has passed upon him but I also pray for him that he is able to find forgiveness in the blood of Jesus and I pray for the woman who was attacked that she makes a complete recovery and that she is able to go hiking again and that this event doesn't stop her from pursuing the things that she loves. I pray for her to be healed from fear and that she's able to, to become a survivor, a real survivor and that everybody would experience healing. In Jesus' name. You can be concerned all you want for my safety, but I have 56 years of experience, most of which I lived in the urban jungle where life is much more dangerous. So my skills of avoiding trouble are very strong and I also carry a concealed weapon the likes of which you don't need to know about because Why should I tell anybody what I am packing? Just know that I am prepared and I have the element of surprise ish <laughs> on my side. Oh, the mosquitoes are just unreal. I really wish I would have brought my bug net.
right, I think I have two more miles to get to the north peak of Moose Mountain. Really glad that the views are nice. I think it's supposed to rain today, but um, not till like later on this afternoon. And yeah, I'm pretty excited that I have discovered the REI Hiker Project app. It lists every trail in every state that has ever been recorded, which is amazing and much better than all trails. So if you don't have that app, I highly recommend it. I'll link to it down in the description. I hear people and I hear animals. And there have been a lot of dogs on the trail, but never really know what's coming. I'm gonna go down Wolfboro Road on my way back. What is this plant? Anybody know? Let's go check out the shelter. Oh, wow. This is a shelter with a view. Wow. And look, you can enjoy it on a park bench. Oh man, that's pretty. Just ran into some day hikers who don't have a map or a compass or GPS and they asked me if I know which way the trailhead was and I was able to get them back in the right direction and 
they were just using written instructions. So that's another safety tip, kids. Make sure you have some kind of a navigation system. And then I recommended the Hiking Project app to them, which actually shows you where you're putting your feet. It's like gut hook, only for a bazillion trails. The trail has totally leveled out. I wonder if that's Mount Musalak or Mount Washington. I have made it to my turnaround point. Moose Mountain North. I have not seen any mooses. And it's funny, Moose Mountain North does not have a sign or much of a view. That's okay. It's been a really great hike. And I'm gonna head back to the car. I am back at Wolfboro Road, and now I'm going to take the loop that goes around and down to Three Mile Road from here, just for a switch. Look at the giant puddles coming. That's all right. We'll make it work. The road is a bit of a river. I'm glad I wear my waterproof socks. However, I still don't want to get my feet like completely drenched in mud. So, Holy bay around all the muck is that it takes forever. So I just decided to dive in. And now the trail is dry again. Hooray! Right, I'm pretty convinced that the black flies and mosquitoes and swarming creatures and stinging creatures are just the devil's minions sent to drive hikers insane. Look at them all. They're everywhere. Net behind again. That's for sure. I really wish you could see how steep the terrain is on video. This is not flat. This is really steep. Downhill, at least. Lots of streams. I wonder if these are like snowmobile trails in the winter time. Maybe. They're definitely roads. 
Appalachian Trail. This is some nice level terrain. Rock walls everywhere. road and heading back into the woods. I'd like to point out that this trail is not blazed in any way that I can see and that I'm super thankful for the Holy Spirit who dwells in me because I stopped on the road. I don't know why, but I stopped at just the right time and I looked up to see that arrow and that sign pointing toward the Harris Trail. A lot of you guys out there call it trail magic. I call him the Holy Spirit, and God the Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Super thankful. I thought I was back at the Appalachian Trail because there's water and I saw a bridge, a footbridge, like right over there. And look at this. Class of 66 Lodge. I wonder what that's about. And I wonder how far away it is. It's not on the map. I think I'm going to go over here and see if I can see anything. I do think I can see something. Oh, yeah. lodge in the woods. It's not on any map. I don't think. I have to look at Gut Hook and see if it's on the Gut Hook app. Because, wow, how cool is that? Bonus. And I wonder Class of 66, Lodge, does that mean AT class of 66? Or a high school class of 66? I don't know. Oh, super cool. 
It, I don't think it's related to the Appalachian Trail at all. Because I found another trail up here. And I don't know how this is happening, but... Oh, there's like a pipe here shooting out water. I mean, this is really neat. The Matt Thompson Trail. How cool. What a spectacular secret hideaway. 66 Lodge was built by the people of Dartmouth College and it is for large group gatherings and there's a website that you can make reservations to use it and it has no indoor plump well it has no indoor bathrooms it has a two stall outhouse and <laughs> no refrigerator but it has an oven and it has wood stoves <laughs> so and the only way to get here is to park half a mile down the road and then hike in super cool what a fun find that's the trail to the parking lot for the class of 66 lodge and i'm going back to the AT. Well, it's time to really test the waterproofness of my socks, but I'm almost done with my hike, so it is okay. Eight miles later, I'm back at the car. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see what I'm doing all week long, run over to Instagram, My Seas World. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time out on the trail.